This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, why I'm a GWRRA member. So GWRRA, uh, they have the little thing on their on their patches and everywhere. And kind of their motto is friends, fun, safety, and knowledge. And I'll kind of go through that as to why why I'm a member. So uh, first, it's kind of like why did I join to begin with, right? Because I've been a member since uh, since 17. So in the beginning, I bought this beautiful gold ring, and it's an amazing it's an amazing machine. I love it. Um, but I a little intimidated. I mean, it's a big old bike, got all this stuff going on. So I thought, well, I'll join this association here. And I'll be able to learn about the about the bike. So I mean, that's the knowledge part, right? Now that's the last thing they list. Uh, but in a sense, it's the first reason I wanted to join was for the knowledge. I want to know about my bike. And while I was a member, I uh, it didn't take me long to find out about the training. If nothing else, uh, I show up to a chapter meeting, uh, Oregon chapter I. And they find out I'm a Team Oregon instructor. And if you don't know Team Oregon, it's just like the MSF, but for Oregon. And they wanted uh, to put me to, to work, uh, get involved with the training. Now, I've, I haven't really done that yet. But they have, uh, they have a lot of great training. Uh, they got rider training. I got the training for the uh, Roadmaster. My wife got the training for uh, co-rider. And then also went to a, uh, a training on leadership. We call it uh, Lead Like You Ride. So it was a good training on, on leadership and, and how to lead within this organization. They've had a lot of changes on how they train. Uh, the trainings now are not lecture type, they're discussion type. So the uh, what we used to call the trainer now is really a facilitator. Uh, I've done enough training and enough uh, learning about training to, to learn that little bit of info. Uh, another good reason uh, is kind of knowledge and safety. Uh, I like the training. Training is knowledge and safety. There's also Wing World. Uh, the Wing World magazine has got a lot of tips in there, repair tips, a lot of travel information, different trips people have gone on. Uh, event information. I mean, yeah, it's uh, primarily Goldwing events, but they're events that are fun to go to. Uh, so that kind of gets into a little bit of the fun part as well. But safety and knowledge are two of the things that the Goldwing uh, magazine, Wing World, has for you. It also has uh, gear reviews, so you can learn a lot about you know the gear you wear, to things you put on the bike. A lot of different reviews for that. Helmets, audio for helmets. And then there's uh, personal stories as well. People talk about a trip they took and you learn a little bit about the person. Uh, they got a highlighting of reader's rides. So the magazine is a pretty good magazine. Now, if you compare it to like Roadrunner, uh, content, I think the content is both good, but the pictures are much nicer in, uh, in the Roadrunner magazine. Now there's also Roadside Assistance, and they keep changing the name on it for me, so I'm not sure what they're calling it today. Um, but you get good Roadside Assistance for your motorcycle. It's like AAA for your motorcycle. Now you can pay for it to be as uh, to cover your cars as well. This is a nice bridge. I'm not getting a video of it. To cover your cars as well. Um, but we had trouble with that. Um, <coughs> Uh, anytime my wife tried to use it, it, it didn't work. Uh, they're like, oh, you don't have car coverage. Um, and so we ended up dropping it for a car coverage. We just had the basic things that covers the motorcycles um, and not the cars. And we went back to AAA. So I thought it was a great deal. And it's not necessarily a great deal. Now, maybe someone else has had some different experience. We've had multiple times where we couldn't get the help we, we wanted and needed because... <clears throat> We couldn't get the help we wanted and needed because they didn't recognize it as being um, being a service to be paid for. And I've had I've called them a couple times on my bikes and, and they show up pretty well, it's similar to AAA for the cars. Another good reason that I'm a member of the Goldwing Road Rider Association is uh, to ride with experienced people. 
lot of these people have been riding gold wings, you know, 30 years. And they've gone on some amazing trips. They know a lot about the bikes. They know a lot about riding the bikes. They know about where to ride the bikes. And uh, as, a, as a member, you can go to a chapter meeting and just sit and chat with these guys forever. So riding with the experienced people is the, the fun and safety. Uh, it's fun to hear the stories, swap stories, and it's also uh, it helps with safety because they'll they'll teach you, you know, don't do this, don't do that, um, you know, try this out, don't use this product. You know, I've had bad experience with that, and you can learn all that by talking to them. You don't have to go try it out yourself. They've done it already. Been doing it for years. So then they also have the the friends, friends fun safety and knowledge so the people are your friends uh, that you get to meet uh, and they I mean it's true you do meet the nicest people on a Honda and uh, you really meet great people on Honda Goldwings um, everybody's willing to help you um, I've not met somebody that would bend over backwards to help out a fellow Goldwing rider I mean there's even this book it's called the gold book and uh, people will sign up uh, to be in the book and with what they're willing to help with or able to help with whether it's a, a spot to pitch a tent in their yard or you know they come pick up your your bike if it's broken or you know any of those kinds of things but uh, the biggest reason I, I stay a member is uh, when I was with Oregon chapter I especially and a little bit with, with chapter B in, in Georgia but out of chapter I, I had some had some stuff go on. Uh, lost my job. My company you know, illegally fired me, and uh, so we hit some hard times. And I was I've been through the been in the hospital a lot. Lost a lot of weight on IV, all this kind of stuff. And so when I lost my job, I wasn't able to get a job right away because I was still on this IV pump. Um, and then my, my friends, my family with Oregon Chapter 8, they stepped in and they blessed us so much because I lost my job just a little bit before Christmas. And, uh, and they came in and provided Christmas presents for my wife and I and the kids, you know, and I got six kids. Uh, so it was no small feat and just, wow. Um, that right there is like, I'm, I'm, never, I'm never walking away uh, from the Goldwing Association. Uh, because they're a family now I, I had to I had to leave Oregon uh, to take a job so I could provide for my family uh, I miss those people in Oregon I, I miss them in Oregon um, but when I moved I moved down to Georgia uh, I got there on a Friday the next day was a chapter meeting for chapter B and I was there so I show up on Friday night, Saturday morning, I'm at a chapter meeting. And I meet great people, amazing people. Uh, they were becoming my family, and then COVID hit. And, uh, and so now I'm, I'm here in Tennessee. I've been to a chapter meeting. I want to check out a few other chapters. I'm trying to find a, a really good fit for me. So that is why I am a Goldwing Road Rider Association member. Now this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure. See you on the road.